All right, April 3rd, lucky day. Super well stocked at Target. I finally found some new stuff. The Welcome to Radio Spring Sally. There was two of them, my mom grabbed the other one. And Donna Pitts. I picked this one up at another Target, but I didn't record. So here I am finding it again, along with Bug Mouse Lightning McQueen, which I'll be doing a review on once I get more cars to unbox. But they are super packed. I mean, I love seeing this, absolutely. You know, it really shows that the ships were stuck at sea for such a long time, because now, they are packed for days and the stuff is 10% off on top of that from today till the 9th so great I mean I'll just skim through what they have a lot of stuff is like just packed and unorganized and it's kind of hard to look for what you want without a symbol saying new for 2022 or anything like that but you just sort of navigate your way through and you might find something Yeah, plenty of stuff. And they have the Miles Axelrod without the microphone. And this is the one with the microphone. Let me show you guys the differences between those two. Because I know probably people are confused on this. This one has the warning sign at the top, but this one doesn't. So that's how you'll be able to tell. But of course, once you look at the sides, you can truly tell the difference on which one's which. Besides, the backs are different. You got made her notice there. So... Yeah, a bit of a difference. I know it's hard to tell without the name difference, but I'll review the Sally soon. Lightning McQueen. Yeah, they're overall very well stocked up. Not bad. Okay, so I found something else. It was just hidden here. Well, that's the Sally I'm picking up, but I just laid it there because I found the king here. He looks so freaking good on this card back. Oh, he looks so beautiful. That petty blue just looks beautiful there's so many guido packs look at that i can see why they're not selling i mean you can literally buy a single of luigi and guido for five bucks why pay eight dollars for two small vehicles when eight dollars can get you something like like this that's mattel being greedy oh my gosh double luck today here at a Walmart, right next to the H, uh, HEB and Target we were just at, is this guy. I, and I was looking at getting this guy on eBay for like 25 bucks, and I finally found it in person for 4 dollars And they have the King here that I just got at Target, Millie, the new Transberry Bubble Wheelhouse, or Torqueberry, Lightning McQueen, all the good people, you know, all the goodies. There's two of the kings. He just looks absolutely beautiful on this card art. Same with Cars 2 McQueen. It's something about McQueen on this card, the Cars 2 paint job specifically, that just looks really nostalgic. And same for Sally and Mater. Anywho, I'm glad to have found something. Hey guys, April 9th, I'm at an HEB that I'm normally not ever visiting, but I see that they got the new Dragon Lightning McQueen mini racer case. And I believe he's number 13, so it shouldn't be too hard to look for. That's number eight. 12, we're getting closer. I think this is a Dragon Lightning McQueen. Oh no, num number nine. People are opening these all the time. Number three. Number three. Number 24. Oh, those are older ones. <sighs> Stupid me. The blue box is the one for this wave. So this box is completely untouched from what I'm seeing. Number 19, we're getting a little closer. Shoot, I just realized I forgot my wallet, so I'm gonna have to text my mom to like bring me some cash. Okay, after going through all that, I see that number 13 is this one right here. Finally. I'm just gonna set it off right here, and then I'll put all that back where it goes, but those are the cars in this wave. Some pretty good re-releases. As for the rest of the selection, they have the, the basic stuff, but it's, um, you know, what you expect. There's a Cruising Lightning McQueen back there. Oh, I mean, Holiday Hotshot McQueen, my bad. They look so similar with that facial expression. Just reused artwork. I don't believe they have the only new two-pack of the year here. So someone obviously has purchased it already. Yeah, someone has bought it up. So that's pretty much it for the selection here. There's not much... Um, stuff that I need from singles 
So the only thing I'm going to be buying is a mini racer. A really dope one I've been wanting for a while too at that. So yeah, it's a really nice looking section too. I got to admit, they're really well stocked. Look at that. They even got a Spooderman car. They got pretty good Hot Wheels stock. They got Marvel Legends too. How about that? J. Jonah Jameson and Doctor Strange. So yeah, not bad of an HEB. I hardly ever come to this one. You know, I made a mini brands video not too long ago on the disney store stuff and it was a huge case of 24 at target here at heb i believe they come in cases of one two three four four eight tw uh, twelve i believe so basically half the quantity at target that's a much smaller box but yeah um just wanted a heads up because it's the first time i see a small variation of this packaging Nothing much. There's a whole ass Disney store in the, in the middle of a Target, just like that. Damn. Just like that. I just heard in the distance, Spider-Man is Peter Parker! And I was like, not again! Those small cups on your eyes. I know. That's actually pretty nice here, this Disney store. You know what, I might have to go first. Officially the best Target ever. I don't think they have like Yelena. How much is this? We're missing all of my good reactions when I'm finding stuff today. Like, I'm just looking for Legos and it's like, oh, no way! The dog! <laughs> Another one. Okay, Walmart. Well, at least Target had something for me. <laughs> All right, Target number two. It looks exactly the same. No, it doesn't. It does. It's a little different. It's a copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I actually found something. Oh, two things actually. So I, I don't have this one and I don't have this one. Whoa, <laughs> I was so much more excited at the other Target. Well, to be fair, I wanted to like jump like a kid, be like, oh my gosh, I found him, I found him. But there's like an employee right there. <laughs> so that's kind of why I did it. But um, anyways, <laughs> I think I just need those two. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Alright, go get some bitches at... 
I'm good, but you. Ah, 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 Anyways, that's one. I think it's the only one, and there's two of this guy, so I'll choose the best one out of the two. And then I have those. Yeah, that's pretty much all I don't have. All right, so I'll be getting these two. The other Target had this exact same case of vehicles, but they didn't have those. They just had the, where is it? Sarge? So remnants, I guess. <laughs> so my brother wants a Yelena pop. Oh, it's damaged. Okay, the next one. Oh, that's hot guy, and it's even more damaged. Oh wait, I think there's another Yelena down here. <laughs> the odds are not in your favor, my friend. And that one's dented too. I'm glad I got it at the other Target. There's not much. Well, that it, I don't already have, obviously. Okay, so this Target also has a little Disney store. It Honestly, the other one was more impressive. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna cut it off because like copyright. Oh wow, that was quite the journey. An hour to and from, back and forth. So in total, a two hour drive. I definitely had some fun and I definitely came home triumphant with plenty of finds. Stay tuned for unboxings of the cars that I picked up in this hunt video soon throughout the next upcoming weeks along with a live stream hopefully to um, show you guys the Marvel stuff I got as well in more detail. Anywho, Piston Cup Productions signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.